We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. On today, Faith the Lock Lights, we take a look at this. And what this is, is the Arby's Good Burger 2 meal. And no, this is not turning into a fast food review channel. But, and no, and no, I have seen the first, I don't really remember a lot of the first movie. I probably won't watch the second movie, but the idea here I thought was a lot of fun, and we'll get into that shortly. So, what's in it is a strawberry shake, a fries, and the Arby's Wagyu Burger. Now, this, to my understanding, is not meant to be hot, but that isn't how we do things here. So this one is, I think it's their deluxe, so it comes with, you can see lettuce and cheese it looks like, tomatoes, the usual stuff. They used to come with a regular burger and that they're now calling deluxe because, you know, of course they are. So, like I said, this is not meant to be hot. I did throw out the burger sauce in favor of mayo. And I've never had one of their uh, Wagyu burgers before, so I'm kind of interested to see what this is going to be like. There's pickles on this. I don't think that movie's going to theaters. I think it's just on Peacock. So it's a streaming movie, and it, it kind of fascinates me that they decided to actually do a tie-in. And this was supposed to be the big deal. Because Arby's for years and years resisted putting a burger on their menu at all. So they do this Wagyu thing. And it's another one of those fast food items that vanishes. You know, the the limited time stuff. It's all gimmicky stuff. At least they didn't brick wall this one behind the app. Uh, although if they did, you know, you probably wouldn't be seeing this video. Those companies are taking that app shit way too far. All right, so we have here, <laughs> Karma is ashes to ashes. Now, this is, um, 63% seven pot primo peppers. And they have another one called Bird After Eating. I played around with that actually as well. That is in the Everything Else playlist, which is where this will be as well. There's not a video for this up yet. Uh, I haven't filmed it. And it is, it is one that is gonna take me a bit because uh, I actually have to prep for it, among other things. But also, this is a blistering sauce. Burn After Eating is supposedly the hottest in their lineup. For me, Ashes to Ashes is hotter than Burn After Eating. Notably. So, uh, there's other stuff in here as well. It's supposed to be uh, Chipotle and some other flavors. But, but you, mostly what this is, I think, is the... Uh, <laughs> You got a healthy, healthy dose of seven pop primos. So I thought, you know, it's I haven't done this on a burger yet. It's gonna be fun to light this up. This is kind of one of those random things that just came across. And 
I'm shooting this just because I thought, hey, what the hell? It's going to be fun to shoot. Now, I'll think that I'll probably ripe until I get into this because I put quite a lot on here. But we'll spread it out. And we'll see. We'll just light this baby up. All right. So we're going from zero heat here. So <laughs> I'm not making fun of that for having no heat. Again, this is not supposed to have heat. This, this uh, patty isn't cooked all the way. So if you don't like... Mm. Burgers are slightly rare, word of the wise. I don't know if that's normal for Arby's or... Just this burger, but wow, this is a very hot sauce. Holy moly. Mmm. -hmm. This is a pretty good burger, though, I will say. There is. Wow. To my understanding, a, uh, Bacon Ranch or something like that version available as well. We didn't get that. I want the tie-in. Wow, this is just... Oh man, this is blistering. Wow. Um... Oh. So there's a lot of conversation about uh, some pop primos, and these are uh, grown uh, by a place called Fingers Lake uh, in New York, I guess, somewhere. Well, I might regret this. The warning on here is not to let this touch your privates. <laughs> true, true. Definitely don't do that. That hurts. Well, I should say it hurts. It's just weird. Gordon Ramsay also mentioned that in his Hot Ones appearance. Uh, having, good God. Having your junk burn is not pleasant. I don't like that. Don't recommend. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, some pots are nice. I like them a lot. I think they have a pretty pleasant flavor. But I definitely, ooh, um, can see that idea that they're competition for ah, reapers. What I like about these is definitely oh, definitely one of my favorite super hots. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, put that in the wrong spot. I like these better than Reapers. Um, uh, wow. For the... Uh, uh, <laughs> good not. Wow. 
for the uh, simple fact that um, they have a nice build. Oh, also. Uh, flavor's good. Also, they don't come back. Like, Reapers will come back on you. I haven't had that happen with these, or actually any other Super Hot. Oh. Just the Reapers. Including Pepper X stuff I've had. Including Apollo. Oh. That was really hot. Okay. Let's, uh... They gave me two packets of ketchup for all these fries. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. So... My next magic trick. Let's try. Let's just try it with some ketchup. This is a really, I really like this sauce. I, I like this is uh, definitely like it's up there. This is one of my favorite sauces. I think from Karma. It is so good tasting. These actually have states on their ketchup packet. That's cute. All right, this is a very flavorful sauce, but it provided you like the flavor of seven pots because that's mostly what it is. I do like that flavor. It's a bit strange here. With the um, ketchup, I do like that though. They're not, to me, they're not as bitter as a lot of other super hots. They, they are, you know, to be clear, they are, they are uh, very, 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 very bitter. I mean, all super hots are, but this one isn't unpleasantly bitter, I guess, like some of the other ones are. I think you can do a lot more things with seven pot primos flavor wise than maybe anything else except for possibly ghost. Ghosts, I think, are just really delicious pepper. Seven pots are up there, though. They're quite good. Oh, wow. Yep. This this video is, is turned into basically me just finding new ways to take myself for a burn. I like to, I don't know about you, but when I used to go to restaurants somewhat regularly for breakfast, one of the things I liked with hash browns was Wow, that was so hot. <laughs> was, uh, uh, ketchup and hot sauce. Ketchup by itself is too sweet for me. So I like a little bit of vinegar in there. This one needs apple cider vinegar, but it doesn't matter. There's none of the, the foot vinegar flavoring. There's also some sugar. There is a bit of sweetness to the sauce. That actually does read. Uh, salt, garlic, vinegar. Those things, those things are, you can tell they're there. There's also a tail end of chipotle, but I, I really don't get a lot of smoke out of this sauce. 
Mostly it is seven pot primos and it's blistering. But I, I like the flavor of this a lot. It is quite good. I mean, it's not super far away from being a seven pot primo puree, I guess, in some ways, but. Very nice. This sauce goes well with things. And I always appreciate that in sauces when they can do that. So, uh, whew. well, all right. So I do remember generally liking the first Good Burger. So go see that. Go see Good Burger 2. Get a Good Burger 2 combo. It actually is pretty solid. The burger has got a good flavor to it. I would say get the, the one with bacon, though. I think it's bacon, maybe a peppercorn ranch. I think that probably is going to be better. I did like it, though. Uh, Arby's has a good mayo, so getting it with mayo instead of the burger sauce, I think, is the move, the good move right there. The crinkle fries, or I, I usually don't get those. I get the, the other ones. But I was trying to stick it as close as I could to... The actual combo, this is, uh, this is their strawberry shake. Um, it's not very good. But even fakey strawberry shakes are, are horrible, uh, I guess. So I, I wanted to try to keep it as close to, to the combo as I could while setting just everything on fire. So, but as far as the fast food burger, it's, it's not bad. It actually... It reminds me a little bit of their Wild Game Burger. I had that too. And that one definitely is a bit a lot gamier than this was. But it reminds me of that same sort of context. Uh, Arby's, for delving into the burger side of things, I think their approach is actually pretty solid. Uh, I can't think of anybody whose burgers are better than theirs, in the, at least in the fast food world. So, uh, very good on that front, I guess. Uh, you know, I'll give it to him. But uh, really interesting tie-in. Uh, usually, you don't see a lot of stuff like this, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun, and it was. It was. It was definitely a lot of fun. So uh, have at it. Uh, if you're a chili head, get this. This karma ashes to ashes. But uh, there we have it. There was the Arby's. Good Burger 2 combo set on fire. Now go four. In peace. To serve the flame.